ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, how ancient meteorites reveal the birth of Jupiter. But first, Forrest Gump star Tom Hanks believes he could live forever in the movies after his death with the help of artificial intelligence. The two-time Oscar winner says he started believing in the future power AI will have during production of the 2004 animated film The Polar Express. Appearing on the Adam Buxton podcast, Hanks says Hollywood agents and movie companies are frantically trying to work out how to counter AI and deep fakes for the protection of intellectual property. So will audiences know it's not Hanks, now 60 six on screen after his death he says that without a doubt people will be able to tell well the question is will they care next Open University researchers say they found evidence backing a theory that the gassy superplanet Jupiter was actually closer to the Sun and drifted across the solar system over millions of years. Ben Ryder Stokes is an OU final year PhD student and told Tech and Science Daily how their analysis of these meteorite samples could explain Jupiter's origins. In this meteorite, we found evidence of two distinct isotopes within a single sample. And this distinct difference implies that two planetary bodies from different origins in the solar system collided together and mixed together. Ben explained their samples support a key theory behind how Jupiter was formed and took its place in our solar system. Jupiter migrates inward due to the attraction of the Sun, and then it reverses direction due to the gravitational attraction of Saturn. And this sort of movement of into the solar system and then back out of the solar system caused a lot of gravitational excitement. And that's what we think the mixing event in these samples relates to. Now he's focused on using the same samples to test the theory that water was delivered into the inner solar system by material from the outer solar system. These samples are really perfectly placed to test this model. If they are a result of mixing caused by Jupiter, which is in the outer solar system, it could be possible that this mixing event is bringing hydrogen to the inner solar system. WhatsApp users can soon lock and hide conversations with a new feature, but how long it will last in the UK is debatable. Chat Lock will remove a chat thread from the app's inbox and move it to a new folder, only able to be opened by a password, face scan or fingerprint. Parent company Meta calls it one more layer of security, but privacy campaigners say any future law changes from the online safety bill would undermine WhatsApp's end-to-end encryption privacy. However, supporters say elements of the online safety bill will help fight crime and protect children. European Union regulators have approved Microsoft's £55 billion attempt to buy Call of Duty publisher Activision Blizzard, potentially the biggest deal in gaming history. The European Commission says Microsoft addressed concerns on competition issues, but it comes three weeks after the UK blocked the deal. It fears cloud computing competition would suffer. It's a step forward, but for the deal to go ahead, Microsoft and Activision need approval from regulators in Britain, America and on the continent. And last year, the US Federal Trade Commission of the lawsuit attempting to block the deal, so that means a decision is unlikely before the end of the year. Next. Research by Germany's Max Planck Institute of Molecular Physiology and published in the journal Nature Methods has revealed development of AI-based software able to pick out proteins amid crowds of cells. A new open source tool called Tomo Twin uses deep learning so scientists can locate proteins with high accuracy but without manually retraining the network each time. The software was trained to pick out 3D molecules of a similar shape and map them, cutting sometimes weeks long processes down to just 15 minutes. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus why Britain's buzzards become angry birds at this time of year. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. A top British surfer has criticised the sport for using boards and wetsuits that rely on polluting petrochemicals contributing to tonnes of annual toxic waste. And environmental campaigners say manufacturing of polystyrene and polyurethane boards plus neoprene wetsuits cause a big carbon footprint. Now Lucy Campbell, Britain's seven times women's world champion, says she'll only take sponsorship from firms that can prove their sustainability credentials. 
The majestic rings swirling around Saturn have actually been found to be younger than the gas giant itself. Research by the University of Boulder in the US analyzed space dust and asteroid debris scooped up by NASA's retired Cassini probe to study buildup of particles around Saturn, and the rings were calculated to be surprisingly youthful. In fact, the biggest ring is believed to be a maximum of just 400 million years old, while Saturn itself has reached the grand old age of 4.5 billion years old. And finally, it's an angry bird of a different kind after a runner was left with painful claw marks on his head in an attack by a buzzard. Ewan Cameron was jogging in Angus in Scotland when the bird of prey swooped on him, and it seems he's not the only one. After sharing his story online, he told the BBC that other runners say they experienced similar attacks. Wildlife experts have linked the attacks to the time of year, as the birds lay eggs around April and May, so defend territory near their nests. You're up to date. Come back at 4 pm for the Leader Podcast with a succession special. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 pm. See you then.